But the hardliner does stick to what he wants to pay. Maybe he'll change his mind, maybe not. Or maybe you'll decide to sell at his price. That's up to you. But once you've made your decision, don't look back. Hi, can I help you? Doesn't work, does it? Well, the last time I checked, it did. You're never going to get a hundred bucks for this. The case is all scratched. Look at the color. She's got pink hair. It's supposed to be pink. She's a rock singer. I don't know. I was really looking for something bigger. And the finish doesn't really go with my furniture. What if I get home and this doesn't work? <laughs> it works now. That's the best I can do. Yeah, I know. Just like all the other garage sales. Once it leaves here, you don't care, huh? Some people just need a little patience. But don't be upset by rock bottom offers. You see, by putting an item out for sale, you've made it very clear that you don't want it anymore. So bargain. But always let the buyer name a lower figure first. Then you counter. The buyer just might increase his first offer. Hundred, huh? Okay, I'll take it. You're a good boy. Oh, boy, is this day going fast. Only 30 minutes left to go and only a few items left to sell. I guess you know what that means. Attention, K Diller shoppers! Attention! The sale will be closing in 30 minutes. All items are now one half off the marked price. Light up, folks. Aha! Wow. Three dollars? Terrific. And thank you very much. And don't miss my next garage. Thank sale. you. Thank yous me a lot. Don't ever forget that. Thanks for coming by. I know your garage sale will be as successful as mine. With the right preparation, organization, and presentation, and of course your gorgeous good looks, you too can have a money-making garage sale. Goodbye and happy sale! Where's Fanny? Do you suppose I sold him? Hey, Fanny, where are you? Are you here? Is that you? It's better than I thought. <laughs>